so i decided uh, to speak with my broken english and i was speaking quite slow uh, because i was giving time to my mind to think and then speak and uh, yeah. you know i was doing this kind of practice like speaking sometime i used to speak with myself also like in initial time i was not getting uh, like partner to speak with so i just take any random topic uh, like daily routine or maybe my past experience pa- uh, memorable trip and all and i was speaking by myself good morning how are you doing yeah good morning i am doing great and what about you yes i am doing fantastic thank you so this is our first session so i would like to know little bit about you yeah sure i am mansi billa i am a mother of a kid and i am a pe of my home and if i talk about my educational background i have done post graduation and ba apart from this i am also running my youtube channel and working on my communication and well as spoken english skills thank you okay that's nice so with youtube uh, are you doing any work or uh, like you are a homemaker yes yes, yes. Okay. so when did you started your channel Uh, just uh, you know, three or four days before I started. Okay, recently we started. Yeah. So, are you also a YouTuber? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. let me give my introduction as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, my name is Tanuja, and I am from Bhopal city. If I talk about my education, so I have done engineering in IT branch, and currently I am a working professional in one of the software company. and simultaneously i'm running my youtube for last one and half year you can say it's about to complete two years yeah that's all about me yeah nice introduction so yeah you are also in youtube so what do you upload i mean which type of content you upload on youtube regarding english language or any other else yeah it's all about english channel and uh, most probably it's Uh, only conversational videos as of now because I don't get much time to do such other activities, so that's why. But yeah, if I'll get chance to do some other activities related to English only, so definitely I'll, I'll do. Yeah, we all you know women have same problem that we don't get time either we are married or not because if we are uh, if we are married then we have we are engaged with our family and if we are. single then we are engaged in doing you know our work and uh, job yes and because job only i don't get time because the 8 to 9 hours i have to give for my work and uh, for youtube also it takes time like every day you have to give 3 to 4 hours uh, for one video yes. only so yeah it's, yeah it's time consuming yes yes it is a time consuming process and uh, are you also studying or you are just doing job Yeah, I'm doing job, but my job is all about like every time I have to do a study also because it is related to technology. So, uh, like uh, nowadays, every every single day new technology is arising. Uh, so we need to be updated according to uh, you know market. So that's why I need to do study as well. Okay, so in which sector you are working? In IT sector. Okay, okay. So you are in Delhi or any other uh, working in Bhopal? Uh, my work location is in different city, but you know during COVID I got this work from home opportunity, so now it is same. Uh, so that's why I'm in my home. Okay, okay. You are currently working at your home. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, and uh, you know it becomes uh, comfortable for us. Uh, it would be easy for us if. Uh, we work from our home at the same time we can also you know uh, meet with our family and we can also in uh, indulge in our family and you know if we want to have talk with our mother father and uh, we can also help them in a household work mm-hmm. chores as well if they need mm-hmm. if the need arise okay so i just want to ask uh, do you have any uh, you know mem- memorable event that you still remember and that was like funny and entertaining or memorable yeah funny uh, i can say yeah i have a uh, event which was funny because um, it was with my niece when we you know we are going somewhere uh, just for you know traveling we are traveling for manali then my niece you know uh, we are on a bus and we get breaker she just fell down and then everybody start laughing like because uh, she all of a sudden she fell down 
at okay. that time uh -huh. uh, yeah because uh, at that time you know uh, the route uh, for manali is very uh, i can't say that is very dangerous but it is you know hill hilly area and uh, so she just fell down in the bus and uh, she was sitting at the back and she suddenly you know uh, fell down in the front <laughs> so okay. everyone started laughing at that time sometimes mm -hmm. we even even today we remember when she came at our home, home then sometime i and other uh, our other family members you know uh, we remember that thing and we uh, just uh, pull his leg pull her leg sometime <laughs> that uh, Okay. Yeah, with you. yeah yeah i can totally you know imagine this scenario like <laughs> how she fell down yeah 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 okay. that's that's good and you know with uh, this kind of uh, story when we remember again so we still laugh uh, on such kind yeah. of incident yeah, yeah. Uh, have you ever done any kind of uh, you know risk risky activity or we can say that what can i say or adventurous activity no i didn't did. no no so are you scared of doing this or uh, you didn't get chance to do <coughs> such kind of activity no just like that i didn't did any time okay yeah because now nowadays i have seen that people are uh, like too curious about doing such kind of activities especially yeah. uh, like what we call bungee jumping and skydiving yeah, yeah. and all so yes, yes. <laughs> yeah when we went there as i to told you that we went for manali so at that time my, my sister has done this bungee jumping but i didn't did okay <laughs> so have you ever done these kinds of thing no i still is care about this thing uh, i feel like uh, i don't know uh, maybe i will be able to do so or not because i scared yeah. a lot yeah but uh, for for me i can say uh, i feel um, I, i feel that uh, i would not be comfortable because you know if i take rides so i would be comfort i wouldn't be comfortable even uh, those rides like columbus and these type kinds of rides i don't feel comfortable and uh, i just feel to poke out so that so i Okay. I feel like vomiting and also that's why I don't do these kinds of activities. Okay. Yes, and uh, I also you know avoid such kind of activity. But uh, I remember one time, uh, sorry, last last summer only, uh, I went to water park. So there was a big slide. So my you know I was not doing uh, I was not doing that kind of slide. So okay. uh, but my other friends were doing the same uh, doing that activity. so i was uh, you know i was standing alone and i i just said that i will not do this thing and they were forcing me like uh, tanuja you can do this you can do this and they were motivating me like uh, it's not a big uh, deal you can do uh, easily it's not too much difficult and uh, i remember that because of their motivation i tried those slide it was very very high for me uh, like biggest slide there so i tried those uh, and i still remember like i lost for some time <laughs> when i was sliding on that uh, slide yeah it so, is a bit scary but uh, at the same time it is also you know we get fun and we also enjoy at the same time but with water park i am comfortable um, but uh, i am not comfortable with uh, other rides okay yes yes i i am also not comfortable but that was my first time that i did something different uh, so yeah, yeah. I, i still remember and uh, i feel yes i did that time but now yeah. if i feel again i have to do it so maybe i will not able to do so <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah sometimes we should try new things if we can but we should also you know know our condition that whether we would be able to uh, regarding like uh, uh, our health Mm. whether we would be able to tackle it or not we everybody know about their body uh, how it you can deal it with, with it so we have to you know take our decision according to that only whether yes. we would be able to do that or not yes yes absolutely right because we we are the only person who knows about our body like how yeah. it will react on particular thing so yes. 
Yes, you are right. So okay, while so learning this language. Okay, so as I mentioned that I'm working in IT company, so it's a multinational company. So I need to interact with different colleagues and customers. They are from different countries and different states. So English is a mandatory language for us. So that's why I need to improve this language so that I would be comfortable while talking with them. But you are speaking well. So how are you learning this? How long you are learning this language? Okay, so uh, I think it's very long time for me uh, because when I started my channel, so that time yeah, I started with mathematics, teaching mathematics, but after a few videos only, I shifted to English language because now we are not in touch with mathematics subject. But you know, for English, uh, it is necessary for my career as well. So I decided to learn or pursue this language only uh, on my YouTube channel also. So you can say that past one year, I'm doing this kind of practice so that's why I have improved. Uh, so this is my yeah. mantra. I can say every day you have to practice at least 20 to 25 minutes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Until and unless we will not speak, we would we won't gain fluency in this language. Yeah, yeah. Because you know we do a lot of things. We learn so many things. We listen to English content, but still we are not able to speak because we are not trying to speak uh, loudly yeah. uh, by our mouth. Yeah. So that's why we face challenges. Yeah, yeah. Now everybody focus on you know input putting input in them their themselves, but we don't put want to put give output. But output is also required. You know if we learn mm, something, if we are watching something, then we are giving input to our mind. But we have to produce it. We have to produce output. Like we have to speak until unless we will not speak, then out we can't produce output. So it is also necessary to speak. Mm, yes, and you know uh, like. It depends. For example, you are putting your efforts, but if you don't know that, uh, are you putting your efforts in a correct uh, manner or correct way or not? Because so many people are doing so many things for learning this language, but uh, they are not really uh, like careful about where they should uh, do their efforts. For example, yes, yes. they are lacking on some particular area, so they should work on those things. Then only yes. they can grow. Yes, so, yes. Yes, carry on. So it up, it up to us like where we have to put our effort. Yes, yes. So would you like to say something about this? Like uh, what effort should uh, we make to learn this language so that we can, you know, remain mm -hmm. on our uh, right path? Okay, so first thing is that you, you have to start speaking, uh, whether you are saying anything incorrect or not. Because I, when I started uh, like my speaking journey, for so that time I was doing a lot of mistakes in my grammatical portion. Uh, even I know so many things like rules as well, because we have learned these things in our school or college days. But still I was making mistakes because I was not habitual of speaking. So I decided uh, to speak with my broken English and I was speaking quite slow uh, because I was giving time to my mind to think and then speak. And, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, I was doing this kind of practice, like speaking. Sometimes I used to speak with myself also. Like in initial time, I was not getting uh, like partner to speak with. So I just take any random topic uh, like daily routine or maybe my past experience, uh, memorable trip and all. And I was speaking by myself and where I was lacking. So I was trying to translate in Google Translator some uh, some help from other other application like Google and all. So this is how and uh, yeah, listening practice. I would say that if you are comfortable more in uh, listening part, so you should listen English content. Or if you are more comfortable in reading or writing, so I would suggest that it ups to you, like how much comfortable you are. Like I am not uh, very fond of reading, uh, so I just try to do something else, uh, like other than reading. So it depends on you, like. Uh, what things you like. Yeah, sometimes I read also. I'm not saying that I'm not reading. Yeah. But I would say that where you are comfortable more, so you can uh, do those things. Yes, yes. then will you know, follow this uh, two method, listening and speaking, because they don't get time. And uh, sometimes they are not interested in reading. It happens with everyone. And uh, as you said that, uh, um, you were uh, you have started from the broken English, but I think it is good 
to start even with the if we are you know to start with a broken english or if we are stucking somewhere but at least we should start making right. mistakes and uh, getting stuck is normal for the beginners and even sometimes some uh, you know even experts get stuck they don't get word it happens with everyone so we yeah, should yeah. not focus on that we should continue our journey we should continuously have practice of speaking only that we would be able to learn and improve yes. ourselves yes yes absolutely this is right uh, you know uh, like so many people who are very expert in this language still they make some minor mistake and sometimes they get also stuck somewhere they don't get words so it's a language only and sometimes in hindi also we uh, sometimes we don't get exact word what i have to deliver so yeah it is a uh, natural we can say but once you will decide like uh, yes i have to speak anyhow whether i am doing my mistake or uh, whether people will think uh, think any negative thoughts or uh, uh, like this but if you are consistent with your journey so you can easily learn yeah yeah exactly so uh, as you said that i think you have been running your channel for in last two years yeah. what is more last year so how many subscribers do you have till now uh, it's not more but uh, it's 2.3k okay okay so i think your channel is monetized now yeah. so uh, how much time does it take to get it monetized um you need to first uh, clear the criteria uh, then only it would and it it depends on person to person like uh, yeah. some channel can uh, get monetized very early also because they they can clear the criteria like you already know that we have criteria yeah. on youtube so you have to clear yeah. so i would say that uh, for me it took uh, one and half years uh, okay. for me yeah okay, okay. and the, yeah initially i was not uh, that much of consistent with my uh, youtube and i was doing something else like some other videos but uh, okay, okay. when i shifted to uh, this english and conversational videos from that time onwards i got like good views and subscribers so it depends on content as well yeah yeah so after can you please explain some uh, rules or policy you know after getting the channel monetized so how does um, i mean what we should do, like uh, we have to continuously uh, put effort uh, it's obvious that we have to continuously post video then uh, i want to you know know something about this mhm so uh, like on youtube we have first criteria that we have to complete 500 subscribers and 3000 watch hours so once you will complete this so you can monetize your channel but you will get uh, revenue from uh, when people will send you money like gift as a gift uh so if person is sending you super thanks we call it as super thanks so if somebody or your subscriber will pay you for your efforts for your good vi- videos so that you will get revenue but you know i was not getting uh, any thanks uh, till that uh, till that time uh, means, uh, here uh, i am not getting like uh, subscribe uh, as you are saying that for example you- mm-hmm, for yeah. example Uh, you posted one video and i liked those video a lot like i okay. saw your efforts and uh, your video is so awesome so i want okay. to give you uh, thanks as a money okay like, uh, we have uh, money criteria also like 40 rupees 120 rupees so it is kind of gift for you so if i'll send you money as a subscriber if i'll give you then only it will come to your uh, account or as a revenue but you know okay. uh, like why people will give thanks to yeah, a small yeah, yeah. like a small youtuber so that's yeah. why so i didn't get uh, anything but uh, you know after few months like one month only i completed uh, the second criteria also like uh, 1000 subscribers and uh, 4000 watch hours so okay. my channel was already monetized but now uh, how i will get revenue from uh, advertisement yes advertisement okay. so okay. we can enable advertisement in our video uh, so when the people will so uh, see your video so they will see the advertisement also so youtube yes. will pay you uh, 55% of whatever revenue will generate from one particular video so they will pay you 55% uh, 
and they will keep 45%. Okay, so you you will get automatically get you will automatically get to know about this thing like after completing mm -hmm. thousand subscribers and four thousand watch time. Yes, yes. Gradually you will learn these things. Even I was not aware about all these things, but uh, you know while watching each and everything like uh, yes, this criteria has completed. Now what I have to do? And you can okay. take help from YouTube support also. So I, I never. Uh, learn from uh, this thing from anybody but yeah gradually i learned this thing okay okay so does any message come to you from youtube that you have completed the subscriber and now you are channel is monetized uh yes you will get a uh, email uh, like yes this criteria has completed now you are eligible to send a monetization request you will have to send a uh, request for monetization So can we wrap up the session or you want to ask anything? Okay, no issue. We can wrap up. It's already 22 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, if we get time, so we will meet again. And thank you so much for your time today. Yeah, thank you so much to you also. Bye-bye. Okay, take care.